right, ladies and gentlemen. We now have a very special guest coming in for his keynote speech. We have, I'll just introduce him now to you. It's actually uh, the foreign minister of Uzbekistan. This is a country in Central Asia, landlocked. Its neighbors are Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan. It has other countries as well around it. It's part of the ancient Silk Road. And from a tourism point of view, it has uh, one of the largest potentials in Central Asia. It's home to the famous Samarkand and uh, Bukhara region. And its capital, Tashkent, is known for uh, being uh, the trading hub of the Silk Road. And so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome His Excellency Vladimir Norov, Minister of Foreign Affairs, has joined us now. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Uzbekistan. And Your Excellency, we were just talking about, a bit about your country, saying that Uzbekistan is, is a Central Asian nation, landlocked. Its, uh, its neighbors are Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, among others. It's part of the very famous ancient Silk Road and uh, home to the famous Samarkand and Bukhara region. Your Excellency, the stage is yours. Welcome to you. Welcome to the Leaders' Summit Europe. Thank you so much. Join me in welcoming him, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> dear Mr. Talib Rifai, Mr. Bulut Bakchi, dear my friend, Member of European Parliament, Ms. Ertug, ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, I would like to take this opportunity to, to express my gratitude to the Secretary General of the Institute of the World Tourism Organization, Mr. Talib uh, Rifai, and to the President of the Institute, to Mr. Bulut Bakchi, for the excellent arrangements of this event and hospitality. I'm also pleased to know that one of the co-organizers of this event is our de uh, dear friend, member of the European Parliament, Ismail Ertug, who is uh, contributing a lot to the development of our relation. I know him from my previous work as an ambassador of Uzbekistan, head of mission to European Union in Brussels from 2013, I think, if I not make mistake. We support the aspiration of the Institute of the World Tourism Organization to ensure sustainable development and strengths cooperation in the field of tourism as an important driving force for global economic growth and the strengthening its authority. We are committed to further intensification of inter-regional cooperation between the European Union and the countries of our region in the field of tourism. We express our gratitude to the European side for supporting our initiative to organize the EU Central Asia Tourism Forum in the city of Hiva, that is capital of well known from the deep uh, thousand years, Horizon, Great Horizon Kingdom. And uh, uh, next spring, uh, uh, ten uh, tentatively in March, May next year, which will allow us to discuss joint measures to develop the tourism industry. We look forward to the participation of the high-ranking uh, representatives of the EU and Central Asian countries. In the context of the difficult si situation in the world, the global crisis and post-COVID-19 uh, period, expanding cooperation in the field of tourism will contribute to the recovery and development uh, of the economies of the region's countries and will effectively counter new challenges. Uzbekistan has a, has a huge potential in tourism. It is noteworthy that President of Uzbekistan, Shavgat Mirziaev, has defined tourism as one of the strategic sector of the country's national economy. Uzbekistan is a heart of the Central Silk Road, the Great Silk Road, in the center of Central Asia which has been attracting travelers from all over the world since ancient times and is recognized 
as one of the most interesting travel destinations. Last three years, I worked as the Secretary General in Shanghai Cooperation Organization. I discovered the new world for me after the uh, such perhaps uh, seven, 13 years working as ambassador in Germany, then two times in Brussels, uh, this European. I found that uh, the Great Silk Road began from Xi'an, Hainan province, and come to Fergana Value. But main traders on this Silk Road was not Chinese, it was Sagdian. It named our land in this time, 2,100 years before, and made discovered this big, uh, they had the uh, contact and the, uh, the trade with the Byzantium, with the Rome, uh, India, Middle East, Egypt, Persia, and it was tremendous travelers through our, and caravansarais, till now they have evidence of this travel uh, through this great silk road. There, there are over 8,400 of 8.400 thousand objects of cultural heritage in the country, of which 209 are included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Uh, first, maybe such official visitor uh, from Europe to Uzbekistan in Samarkand was in 14th century Klavicha, ambassador of Castilia King. When he traveled to, uh, came to Samarkand, he said, I traveled through the Europe and Asia, but I didn't see such great, tremendous buildings which constructed by our ancestor Amir Timur, Tamerlan, his name it in Europe, the mosque of Bibi Hanum. Great, he impressing till now. Uh, and uh, such tourist centers of Uzbekistan at the Tashkent, Samarkand, Bukhara, Hiva, Shakhri Saps, Termes are now worldwide. These historical cities with a rich cultural heritage are uh, targeted by many travelers as must-see destination. Our country is steadily climbing in international rankings and drawing the attention of foreign media such as uh, the New York Times, The Guardian, The Independent, Global Museum Travel Index, National Geographic uh, Traveler Awards, Lonely Planet, and others. In Uzbekistan, one can find all types of tourism, historical, cultural, educational, archaeological, gastronomic, ecological, mountain, sport, and others. Uzbekistan is successfully developing medical tourism as well, taking into account the availability of natural resources to improve one's health in the resorts of the country. Now we have Academy of Medicine, which uh, reviving receipt of medicine uh, described by Avicenna, Abu Ali ibn Sina, well known, in 10th century in the, uh, the, all, uh, the Muslim community in this time and later in 12th century, his book was translated in Latin and 300 years, European used his uh, this canon of medicine as a textbooks in universities. Uzbekistan is successfully developing medical tourism, as I said, in just recent years, as a result of the country's open door policy the number of visa-free countries has grown 10 times last six years from nine to 90. The simplified system for issuing electronic visas to the citizens of more than 50 countries has been introduced. Our tourism sector has suffered a lot due to the COVID-19 related restriction and the consequences of the global crisis that followed the pandemic. While around 7 million foreign visitors visited Uzbekistan in 2019, due to the pandemic, this number decreased by uh, more than uh, 4.5 times in 2020, falling to just 1.5 million. It is important to point out that from June 10 this year, Uzbekistan lifted all COVID restrictions, and today the country is open to all foreign tourists. While the number of foreign tourists visiting Uzbekistan to, uh, tell it, uh, to 2 million people in two, two, 2021, uh, and now more than 2,500,000 tourists visited Uzbekistan only for the last seven months. We hope that the number of visitors will increase by several times by the end of this year. The country is implementing a targeted policy to support the tourism business. In 2019, the country adopted one of the 
key document that initiated fundamental changes in the industry, the concept for the development of the tourism sector in Uzbekistan for 2019-2025, which outlined the main vectors of works in this direction. Improvement of the regulatory framework in the field of tourism, implementation of international norms and standards, development of infrastructure and form, uh, formation of an accessible and comfortable environment for guests of Uzbekistan, diversification of the tourist product and services, strengthening the image of the country as a safe destination for uh, travel and re uh, recreation. Over 20 types of benefits and preferences have been provided to stimulate entrepreneurial activity in the tourism industry, including for the construction and operation of hotels, uh, guest houses, yurts, and echo houses, import of tourist class vehicles, and much more. Despite the global crisis, Uzbekistan is one of the few states that have not reduced but increased investment in tourism sector. In particular, in 2021, the total value of all investment projects in the tourism sector was 6.3 billion US dollar. By the end of the year, 490 projects will be implemented and uh, 6,800 new jobs will be created. At the same time, until 2025, the government plans to invest about 3 billion US dollar in the development of tourism infrastructure in order to double the income from tourism. Taking this opportunity, we invite our foreign partners to invest in the implementation of joint tourism projects in Uzbekistan. In order to support the sector, grants have been introduced for youth initiatives in the field of tourism, as part of which young entrepreneurs will be able to receive up to 4.5 million US dollars for the development of their businesses. As part of development of domestic tourism, the practice has been introduced, which provides for covering the 20% of cost of tourist trips for the employees of public organization, a cashback system with a refund of 15% of the cost of air, railway, and bus tickets, 20% of hotel accommodation, 50% of the cost of tickets to museum and other cultural objects. Cross-border routes are becoming increasingly popular among foreign tourists. In, the context, in this context, it is noteworthy that more than 80% of tourists in the world know about the Great Silk Road, and the Forbes magazine recognizes Silk Road as one of the most powerful brands. According to Lonely Planet, the Central Asian part of the Silk Road was at the top of the best regions taking uh, ranking in 2020. Now we're introducing Central Asia uh, uh, such Schengen visa, which will be common to all Central Asian countries. Uh, Uzbekistan is also actively working with the neighboring countries to introduce a regional silk visa to call it the Asian Schengen. Soon, uh, foreign nationals will be able to visit all Central Asia. Given the strategic role of the tourism industry in the global economy and ensuring sustainable social economic development of state, the Uzbek side pro proposes the uh, following. First, establishing regular dialogues on tourism, transport, aviation, and culture. Second, strengthening joint efforts on the use of smart and green technologies, as well as digitalization of cultural heritage cities in Uzbekistan, which are included in UNESCO list. Third, exploring the possibility of uh, hosting a tourism forum under the auspices of the Institute of, uh, of the World Tourism Organization in the newest modern multi-profile tourist complex, Silk Road of Samarkand. This touristic center uh, will be opened uh, in 15 September, where will be organized uh, Summit of Shanghai Cooperation Organization member states for 15 leaders of the country's member states, uh, observer states, and partner of dialogue will participate in this event. Uzbekistan is committed to training personnel in the field of tourism 
since 2018 the Silk Road International University of Tourism and Cultural Heritage established at the initiative of the President of Uzbekistan his opening in Samarkand City. Annually, the university announces 85 scholarships for foreign nationals. We invite our partners to join this initiative aimed at strengthening international cooperation in the field of tourism. I propose to combine our efforts of cooperation in restoration of cultural heritage cities, restoration and preservation of intangible heritage, culture and tradition of the peoples of our countries for future generations. Dear friends, Uzbekistan is actively engaged with the international community to expand dialogue in all areas. In September 2022, Samarkand uh, will host uh, Pearl of the Great Silk Road International Film Festival. It, this festival was popular in Soviet time. Each two, two years in Tashkent was organized the festival of uh, film festival for Asian, Latin American, and African countries. In October this year, nine international Binale of contemporary art in November, EU Central Asian Ministerial Conference on Connectivity and Second World Conference on Early Childhood Care and Education under the auspices of UNESCO. We invite the EU countries and members of the World uh, Tourism Forum to participate on 25th session, uh, the General Assembly of the World Tourism Organization, which will be, to be, which will be held in Samarkand next year. I take this opportunity to invite all participants to visit our sunny Uzbekistan and experience the extraordinary hospitality, sincerity, and kindness of our people. It is real uh, hospitality. All our nation around the Silk Road have the such great uh, culture of hospitality. But Uzbekistan has particular. Why? Uh, because we are located in the center of desert. If we will be not hospital, if we will not be welcome, so travelers will avoid us, and the Great Silk Road will, will not go <laughs> through us. That's why, <laughs> that's why welcome to Uzbekistan. We uh, try to be attractive to our guests. In our country, in Uzbek language, say, Mehmon Otangdan Uluk, the guest higher than your father. So, Showing hospitality, it is part of our country. Welcome to Uzbekistan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency Vladimir Norov, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Uzbekistan. And now we're going to play uh, two videos about we Uzbekistan you for you to really see Uzbekistan. what the Minister, His Excellency, has been uh, describing to us. Guest. not only the big famous monument. It's quite amazing. Uzbekistan is the greatest place for me, I even saw. Just amazing. I love Kisara. Surprise! With a, I couldn't even breathe because we never see this at home. So for me to experience it. And say hello all the people to Siva.
Uzbekistan. Thank mm -hmm. you. 